Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. I would like to do finally a review on Get Serious Tips and Hints on Bodybuilding by Dave Draper. It took me just a couple of days to read this book. It's only 78, 79 pages or so. It is Dave Draper's original publication prior to Iron Brother Sister Steel. Um, he's, he's doing some self-promotion there with his own Get Serious t-shirt. Um, now, in summary, what can I say about this book? I would say that as a collector's item, it's definitely worth getting. Um, and I'll explain why. The, the reason I find that it's a great collector's item is because although these photos are found on the internet and on Dave's books, what I like about it is that uh, I've never seen this before in any of Dave's publications, but each of these photos is followed, or is, I guess um, under each photo there is a, a description, and a very accurate description of uh, describing the setting for each photo. For example, this photo in particular, which is famous, it was uh, on a muscle builder, car uh, uh, muscle builder uh, cover, this photo was taken between the 1965 Mr. America and the 66 Universe contest in the winter off season when I had bulked up to 250 pounds through power training. It was a black and white photo which was later appeared as a colorized cover of Joe Wader's Muscle and Power magazine. It goes through each photo and gives you details uh, about these iconic shots of Dave Draper. To me, as a collector, in itself is is enough worth um, in in having this this book because I although I've I've spoken to the Draper family um, I do I do am fortunate to to be friends with them um, and Dave has actually also uh, autographed some photos for me and described them at the back but this gives me even more detail about these photos and their settings um, because. Back then, obviously, Dave Draper's memory was way better than today because he was simply closer to that era. The, these photos at the time were 10, 15, 20 years old, some a couple of years old, and he would have a better recollection, and therefore the description is fantastic. Here, for example, is 1967, Artie Zella stopped by my, by my house as I worked the yard, and he wanted photographs for an upcoming article. Artie impulsively grabbed my car my, sh my car chamois and, res and the resulting photo became an all favorite of mine i didn't know that he was just wearing an old rag um and so these are great descriptions for each photo um yes yeah, so it's it's pretty cool uh besides that the information herein including the programs and uh the advice that dave gives is exactly the same uh, or even better, I would say, is, is what you would find in Iron Brother, Sister Steel. This, I would say, was Dave's first project, which he then elaborated into Brother, Iron, Sister Steel. So unless you're truly interested in finding out the more detail about each photo, then I really wouldn't go into great, in, in, into great uh, efforts to look at this particular booklet. It is only 80 pages long, and as I said, I think the gold, the gold in this, the gems really in this book or booklet, is uh, the descriptions for each photo. Um, I would also say, having read all of Dave's material, that the cha the small chapter on steroids, I would say, is way more in this book descriptive. Um, here, Dave actually does talk about his use with steroids in and and when he actually took them and for and you know how long um so i've actually asked him myself and he doesn't like talking about it he refuses to talk about it um and i think in retrospect um dave now refuses to talk more about it simply because he would rather not educate the current generation to prevent basically a, yeah, as a measure of prevention um, for them to, to not even try it. Because I think if you give information, people are, are more likely to do something. 
And if you simply don't talk about it, well, then maybe there's a chance that they simply won't talk, won't do it because there's no information to really help them. And so I think that's his, his way of looking at it. And he actually does mention that he had trained already for 10 years. He was already 235 pounds, this chapter, and a Mr. America before steroids came on the scene. And then he used them sparringly under a doctor's supervision. And of course noticed gains when he was on them, but then noticed that they disappeared immediately after he stopped taking them. So, um, yeah, I think certain parts like this, which he would rather, uh, yeah, just not talk about and exclude in Iron Brother, Sister Steel, that there, there are some, some interesting tidbits in here. But I would say, by far, it is simply a small part of uh, of Dave's greater work, Iron Brother, Sister Steel. Anyway, that's my review. Uh, a bit lengthy for such a small book. But, you know, I, I thought it was an interesting purchase for myself, for my own collection. And I'm glad I've got it. Hope you've enjoyed the review. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Leave me a comment. Subscribe if you haven't. This is the Golden Era Bookworm signing out for now. Bye.